and happy Tuesday everybody. It is quarter past eight and Owen is finishing his breakfast. He's been in it for about an hour. <laughs> Hurry up little monkey. I'm fucking hug. Okay, Owen's coming for a hug. Come, come up here. Do you want to say who's coming to your school today? A man. <laughs> the man? But what is the man coming to do in your school? Get the instruments. What kind of instruments? Drums. Drums. And what country does it come from? Drums. No, the drum is the instrument. It comes from South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. They are going to learn to play the African drums. They have a little workshop in school today. But they need to be... Um... The turkey comes from Rum. Mm -hmm. And I want to be behind a uh, from the doctor. There's one. So be known to laugh around. Did you learn that in school already? Mm. Yeah. No, I learned that when I was a baby. All oh, right, okay. When he was a baby, he learned all about African drums because that's what you talk about when you're a baby, isn't it? I talk in the I talk. I said when I was out your belly. Oh, that's the first thing you talked about. Yes. Okay. So and then I said, and then I cried. Yeah, you cried. No, then I cried. Then you cried. Yes, and then, so, and then you said me. I saved you? No, you said me. I fed you? Yes. Oh, because you were hungry. Is that yes. why you cried? When you came out of my belly? Yes. You were very hungry, so you were crying? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty good explanation. Yeah, that's it. And then you talked all about Afri African drums after that? No. No. Oh, that was when you were a big baby then? Um, no, that when I was a little baby. This morning is so weird. Usually, whenever we go to school, uh, there's fog everywhere uh, and it lifts as the sun comes out. And this morning there was no fog, but look at now. It is getting thicker by the minute. Now the sun is still trying to come through there, but it's just getting really, really thick very quickly. Like in within minutes it became like that. I don't remember ever seeing that happening so quick before. It's very strange, but um, I guess it's getting Halloween. -y. Woo hoo! Um, I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Um, thought that he would go to sleep when we came home, but he got another little burst of energy, so he's back in the jumpery bouncing around. And uh, hopefully, after that, he gets a nap. So I can do my meal planning and my food shopping order. I am very pleased because I had ordered some fabrics um, on Sunday night. Uh, one of the fabrics is for an order I would like to finish tomorrow. Um, I, I thought I had enough of that fabric and I didn't. So I ordered more. And uh, the good thing is that it's coming today. I got an email to tell me it would be. So I'm glad about that because it means that tomorrow I can definitely do the sewing I had planned to do. Hello, baby. Yeah. Hello. And it's even foggy outside. You cannot. Oh, there we go. We can. My camera is actually adjusting to try and see the houses. It is. Foggy, foggy day. He's really trying to start crawling now, but he's not just there yet. He can manage to make his way over to things, um, usually by rolling, etc. But eventually he will. I've just received my parcel with some of the fabrics. I'm waiting on two different parcels. This one arrived today. I think the next one will come tomorrow, but the next one is only for a personal project. Um, I have I always keep blankets in the car for the boys um, because when it's getting wintry when you get in the car before the heating kicks in it's always very cold Owen is always cold in general so I'm gonna make them each a blanket for that can keep be kept in the car at the moment we have some big IKEA fleecy ones 
that are actually quite big and they get really dirty because they're always on the ground and all so i'm going to make some smaller ones that i can easily wash so owen is going to have now i don't have the top fabric yet but um each side will have a like a minky uh, fabric and the top will be like a cotton print with a trim around so alfie has the green one and owen has the blue one and then Alfie has the yellow uh, polka dot trim around and Owen has the red one and their fabrics are um, two different ones uh, but from the same collection so they still kind of go together. Uh, Owen picked, I gave him a um, choice in the selection of fabric and he picked one for him and one for Alfie because Alfie is obviously too small but it would be nice a nice little project. Uh, I've never made any blankets like that but so it's not that complicated um so yeah that will be one of my next projects but i probably won't be doing it until my sister goes home again um we'll see so i fell asleep in my arms again after i woke up so i moved him i don't know if you can see him in that in his swing he's asleep he's asleep again there he's just too tired but for some reason he won't settle in his bed and he was sleeping that for the minute so any sleep you can get at this point is good so I'm watching I started to watch the hills because I like to watch stupid things <laughs> that I don't need to have my brain turned on when I'm doing other stuff and I've been doing all my meal planning and um, I'm now ordering all the food I also really need to edit my vlog from yesterday I'm hoping I'll have time before I have to go to school so I bet I get stuck in. <laughs> but yeah, I have all my meal planned on until Wednesday next week. So like a week and a day, including all the meals when my sister is here. And uh, yeah, so that's a good thing done. And I'm going to order everything now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Well, this little guy ended up sleeping for over an hour in his chair. Now he has a big smile on his face. He's so much happier when he's had enough sleep. Yes! You are. And it means he had a big nap before we need to pick up a one, so I don't need to interrupt his sleep, which is great. And it also means that it's going to be a while before he needs to sleep again. We need to leave in about five minutes, and at least his sleep is not going to be interrupted. Yes. And when we come back, he can have some food and play a little bit. <laughs> Baby, he's so cute. So cute. I have all my shopping order done, all my meal planning done. The only thing I need to do when we come back is edit the vlog from yesterday because I haven't done it yet and it's supposed to go live by 5 pm, so I'd better do it really. Yes. Are you gonna say bye bye? Say, see you soon, everyone. We're gonna go get Owen in school. Alfie's finished his lunch, he actually loved it, it was bubble and squeak. And he really loved it, he had all of it. He's having his little biscuit. And just because I don't want to leave him alone with a biscuit, I'm going to tackle two of these drawers. I have this one and this one have kind of like baking accessories, but a lot of them are very old and need to go. My aim is to fit them all in one drawer, so one of the drawers I can use to put all my spices. Because at the moment, a lot of them are sitting over here. And I would like to clear that a bit. So I have two bags in the end of stuff. A lot of my spices were out of date. And then I have my spices drawer here. No, it's alright, you can have it. And then my baking drawer here. And it means I can actually move my utensil over here. And then I've moved the smaller bottles of oil here. And I can put the formula here instead of the windowsill. That's going to be able to be cleared. And it means I have more room there to put what I do during the day when I have no time to load the dishwasher that I put everything over here and once I get a moment at some point I just put everything in the dishwasher so it means this is more free and all the cooking bits are over here and up here and in the drawer and this is looking less well there's toys and stuff there but I might actually be able to move this guy over to this side and make these less crowded so yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. So I think this is potentially the latest I've ever uploaded a vlog. It is 5 past 4 and goes live at 5. No, yeah, 5 past 4. 
because I live at five and um, well currently it is still processing so it should be done I'm hoping by five <laughs> but if not we might have the first late vlog No, he's trying to give you a hug. just managed to do one of my tasks of my to-do list tomorrow I was supposed to edit and upload the video for Thursday morning and I've done it it's all edited it's exporting now and I'm going to upload it now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow and it's great because um, well I'm going to try and edit the vlog from today when I come home after Bali because then it means tomorrow I can get stuck in and just so most of the day and then do some cleaning as well and it means that it makes the day a lot easier so so glad I've done that um, the boys were really good this afternoon and playing really nicely and we're actually kind of playing together which is nice um, and it was a good time for me to do this it's now 20 past 6 so James should be home in about 10 minutes and um, I've decided not to have a full meal before ballet because I just feel very bleh if I'm too full. So I'm just going to have a little snack, get changed, I need to tie my hair. I always plait my hair because I have loads of flyaways. Wait, you're, you just had your dinner already? <laughs> Why wants a snack? He just ate his dinner. No, you already had a snack in the afternoon. You had your cookies. <laughs> so um I am um, yes I'm going I always plait my hair because I have a lot of these and I hate whenever I am dancing and they just fly all over the place. So I'm gonna plait my hair, tie it, get changed, get ready to go, try and find my motivation somewhere on the way and go. And then um I'll probably see you when I come back to let you know how it went. I'm back from Bali and I'm glad I went and I just came home and checked my emails and I had a really nice email uh, with a link to a blog post. I've done a collaboration with a blogger, well I should say two bloggers, uh, called The Creative Pair. It's a mother and daughter called Tracy and Chloe. Um, the mom has made the decision to uh, homeschool her daughter because of her special needs and she felt like school could not bring her um, what she needed and I totally agree uh, with that in her situation, it's the best thing to do. And she's also sharing on her blog um, different crafts and her home education story and I just find this blog, I only found out about it about a month ago or so. And the amount of resources in this blog and the it's very well it's just very very interesting there's loads of ideas of things to do on how to get creative and I, I just learned so much from their blog since I started reading it so um, I'm just going to show you a quick look around the page but I am um, look uh, they have basically they have a thing called uh, meet the artist so it's me this time and uh, they do a craft related to 
something this person makes so they have chosen the Russian dolls and this is what they have made and it's absolutely amazing um, there is a little video on the blog um, at the end I will try and insert that at the end of this video but um, I'll, I'll just put in the description box all the details for you to read this and with all the tutorial about how to make this uh, if you have any children it's a really good idea so I put all the all their details in the social media in the description box really do check this blog it's one of the best blogs I've seen recently I'm gonna stop the vlog here now and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye!